this might be rough. This might be rough. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> you do realise there's a certain amount of irony in this? Yes, I do. For what? I'm engaged. Ah! Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dexter. <laughs> Stop, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> I have the same tiered, bro. Yep. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the fact that he's just waiting for her. <sighs> I love that they're doing this. I'm not doing it. Uh, no. Can I? Can I stop, please? <laughs> Hey, hi, hello, my name's Danielle, and today is the day I lose my fucking mind. Uh, because today, I'm going to be reacting to the last five episodes of the One Day series. If you have not already, be sure to go watch the previous two parts of my One Day reaction series. It's been a journey. It's been literal months. <laughs> These videos have taken it out of me. They are beasts to edit, but I am so proud of them. And I genuinely love this show and everything it's done so far. So I have really been enjoying doing these. But before we get into it, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. All of my social media links are in the description down below and be sure to follow me on my Instagram because that is where I post updates about these videos and fun little memes. And as I've mentioned in my last couple of videos, I have recently started my very own Patreon where I post extended versions of all of my reactions and will possibly be starting to do full length videos. I just don't know if I like those yet, so I don't know if I wanna do them. And it's a great way to support me and support my channel. Um, so be sure to check that out if you want. As of this video coming out, I will have had all of my one day extended versions up. And then coming up next is gonna be the extended version of Barbie and Oppenheimer and possibly the bear season two, but that one would be hard to make, but I still have all the footage, so I could do it if you guys want that. So today we're starting off with, I believe episode nine. I don't know, I was getting so lost when I was editing. Oh, I'm on episode 10, okay. Friendly reminder, I have seen the movie version of this show, but I have not read the book and I don't really remember the movie. In fact, <laughs> apparently I don't remember it more than I actually thought I didn't remember it. I really don't remember the movie because episode nine where Dexter goes to that woman's house or his, that woman, his girlfriend's house or whatever to meet the family, I didn't think that was in the movie. I had no recollection of that, but apparently it is because I have obviously been watching the movie version of the episode that I watch right after to kind of compare the movie and the TV show. It's been really fun for me. Um, so if you are wondering why I didn't watch the movie version of that last episode of episode nine in part two, cause I didn't remember it occurring. I did not recall. Yeah, so I think my memory of the movie is strictly like everything up until the end of the Greece trip. Oh wait, oh no, the end of like when Dexter has his whole breakdown at his mom's house and then Emma starts dating the comedian, blank spot, and then when they get back together. But I don't even really remember how they get back together. I just remember like that last year. You know what I'm talking about? When the stuff goes down. So yeah, turns out I really don't remember that movie at all. So before we get started with episode 10 today, I am going to watch that part of the movie. Just see if I miss anything. If I never fucking talk to you, then what is the point of you, of us? Okay, I think this is where I left off. Oh. Till then, night owls, keep gaming. So they are second. Well, no, they're technically showing a different direction, but it's a direction away from you. <laughs> But they love you in that ironic love to hate kind of way, right? And all that we need to do is just find someone that loves you for real. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Sylvie. No, 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 wait, no, I'm in love with you. And they skipped a year again. Look, I've never said this to anyone before. I don't even know how many years ahead I this love movie you. is. I'm large in it. That, that program, do you remember, Mummy? You used to really hate it. 
Oh my god, I looked up these boys and one of them is an actor today that I know and I can't remember which one and I can't remember, not this kid, I think it's the other kid. Are you there, Moriarty? Yeah. Him! He's not even trying to move after he says it. The crowd goes wild! Him! Him! He's from Rain! Isn't that crazy? Anyway, not important. What's crazy is, so obviously I don't remember this part of the movie, but as I'm watching it, it's slightly familiar. But when I watched the episode version of this, and they started playing this game where, what is it? Are you there, Moriarty? I was like, oh yeah, I do know this game. I think this is how I know this game. I think, I don't think there's any other place that I've seen it played, maybe, but I'm pretty sure this is how I know this game, which is crazy because I do not remember this. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. Ready? As ready as I'm <laughs> Oh, he broke the table, dude! I didn't even ask if she was there, Moriarty! I know, I know, I'm so sorry, I... Wanker! That wasn't as good as in the TV show either! Ah. It was just way too fast-paced. Serves me right for not changing the locks. Looking good, Ian. No, you can get stuffed, Emma. Is that from your act? The wall, too! I come on. I uh, say, so here's a funny story, I like this. Ian. There's this guy. No recollection and he's going of this. Out. She is still in love with her best friend. Interesting theory. He read it in her poetry. You bastard! Get out of here! graduation me. night! Yeah. The erotic intensity of the shirt is. You will not matter. Don't ever call the police! Call the bloody police, it's my flat too! What is it? I paid the mortgage! You love the wrath of Khan. I hate the wrath of Khan. Either that or it's trap wind. I'm not sure. Either way, it'll pass. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I think that's all I can watch. So they combined those two years in the movie, which means we're at least one year back on track, but 2000 is what I'm about to watch in 1997. So, I think. So, they're way off! Which I'm like, how is that gonna catch back up? You know? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I don't remember most of that. I, I don't remember what comes next. I only remember them getting back together. It's interesting watching the TV show and the movie back to back. I can tell what things were taken directly from the book and kept in the adaptations because they're, they're the same in the TV show and the movie. And I just love seeing stuff like that because I'm sure if I had read the book, that would be important to me. If I read and liked the book, that would be important to me. Now we're gonna be officially getting started with the day. I'm nervous. I'm very, I, today feels like an emotional day for me, so this might be rough. This might be rough, but fun for you guys, I'm sure. Okay, 1997. Another week, another wedding from the people you slept with. Whole chapels of them. Coach loads coming in from across the country. That's not true. It is true. I actually really like them together. The movie version didn't care about her. Then why do you keep looking at the door? Because he's looking for Anna! Okay. I'm very curious as to what happened with him career-wise, though, because he wasn't in a good place. Where are we gonna sit? Tilly! Tilly! Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Give us more. Give us more. I'm looking forward to your speech. Oh, no, no, not a speech. It's just a toast. It's just a toast. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? Hey, well, um, I would love to stay and chat. <laughs> But if you could all bugger off and take your seats now, I'd quite like to get married. Oh, that's adorable. And we're gonna get to see who she's getting married to. Crazy. Who are you looking for? Oh, and he's with her. Ouch. I don't know this song. This might be more fun if I did, but it's still pretty fun. Ah! It doesn't look like she's looking at him. Oh, okay, I don't think she is. Oh wait, it looked like he was looking at her, but it looked like she was looking at Tilly. But then she looked in another direction that was like, okay, that maybe that's Tilly? I don't know. You look great on it. People keep saying that, did I look terrible before? No, but you look really good now. You look mature, hot. 
And the red? Oh. My well, last name, won't you? Yeah, she got her man. Yeah. <laughs> she did. No, no, Oh no. my god, is that Dexter Mayhew? Why? Dexter Mayhew? I love her accent. Oh my god, was there anyone he didn't check? Yeah, Elmo. <laughs> oh, cow, wow, long Where time. Is oh. This is silly. We well, all used to knock around together in London until your man here went quiet on me. Did I? Yeah. And are you in a better place now? Well, I haven't seen you much on TV these days. Doing a lot of work on cable and satellite. <laughs> oh no, so what is actually going on? Because that ain't it. Mm -hmm. They're really building it up right now. They couldn't have made that look more angelic. Oh my god. All the red. I guess that's all I have. <laughs> the lighting a little bit. Just her surrounded by little kids. Okay. High quality, ethically minded convenience food. That's where it's at, my friend. I love that. I think there could be a lot of opportunities for you. You go for me a job. Hey, why not? Fucking apron. No, I'm just saying. I feel like they have to make her look bad. In some way. No, I guess they don't have to, because we, I think we as an audience know how much Excuse we want me? these two to get together. But I think it would make us feel better. Know you from somewhere? I don't think so. I suppose distantly your face does ring a bell. It's a fun way to approach it. You look different. People keep telling me that. Is that a Rachel? Christ, I hope not. Rachel, wow. That's Sylvie. Will you come and say hi? Oh yeah, later, absolutely. I um, just want to have a look at my speech. Maybe we'll be sitting next to each other at the reception. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But... Didn't they have a massive fight last time? That was interesting. A little too, a little too casual. Someone's <laughs> <clears throat> recording it, okay. Someone can go from being a total stranger to being the most important person in your life. Imagine one selected day struck out of your life and think how different its course would have been, but for the formation of the first link on that memorable day. Either my spatial awareness is off today, or this was not shot in a way that makes it easy for us to tell that they're looking at each other. Cause like I kind of can, when she looks away, I can tell that she was looking at him, but otherwise, that was so, you know, it wasn't well shot. The angles were weird. I don't know. It's the second time that's happened in this episode. Anyway, I was gonna say about the video recording. It was just odd that they showed that, but I know that they showed it. <laughs> no, well, it was just one random cut that they showed that, which was odd because it was random, but it makes sense because they were like, oh, remember, 1997. <laughs> Is that you off then? Oh wow, this song is in the 90s? Hey, can we go somewhere, just me and you? Um, yeah. Can we have a serious talk now? Thank you. Apparently there's a maze. Well, why didn't you say? <laughs> okay. Where her face was there, I thought she was gonna make like a murder joke. Cause it's kind of creepy. Unless it's like beautifully lit or something. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> what about Sport Extreme? Oh god, have you seen it? I never miss an episode. Check out these sweet old school moves. I think I get away with it. Well, not always. She's being honest with them. Let's see, you've written a book, got a massive advance, you've given up teaching. Mm, hang on. She got an advance because she wrote a book? Oh my god! What's it about? I was worried about you. Wait. Though it wasn't so much the drinking and the drugs, it was more the flat cap. <laughs> Fuck off. I screwed up my career and screwed up with my mum. No, you didn't. Screwed up my friendships. That you did. <laughs> but then I met Sylvie. How? I said you'll have found you in the end. Something like that. Everyone thinks you're good for a wedding speech. I mean, for today, I wrote my own, Graham's, and the best man's. Well, I promise not to ask for that. Thank 
For what? I'm engaged. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Dexter, that's... That's mm -hmm. amazing. Congratulations. Oh. Oh? <laughs> what? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You're pleased? Pleased? I'm destroyed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is happening? Ugh. Right, so break up now. Hmm. This. An invitation. Ow, 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 ow. <gasps> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> it's lavender, apparently. No, oh, that's not lavender, that's, um, that's money. Yeah, that <laughs> is the smell of money. Yeah, it's eight quid a pop, which is obscene. I know, but... How many people did you invite? What does she do? Does she just... I mean, we know she has rich parents. Saturday, 13th September. This year? like... Seven weeks? It's what they call a shotgun wedding. No! No! No, 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 no. Yeah. God, you're gonna be a dad? <laughs> Fuck me, Dex. Space the bombshells <laughs> out. Hang on, you're getting married? And you're having a baby. I, I mean, is that allowed? Were they even met yet? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no. <sighs> there she is. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Christ. That's the spine. Yeah, great spine. <laughs> How long did it take for that fight? 20 some minutes. And we're here. But do you think it's a good thing? Yes, of course it is. Yeah, but it hurts. Oh, man, I turned my back for one minute and... Ugh, I know. I'm sure it hurts her more that it happened while they were apart. Knowing, like, life continued for him without her. Oh. oh. Shit! I must be getting closer to the exit. Can I just say something? Uh, of course. Sure. What is it? I've missed you. I've, I've missed you too. I really regretted just walking off like that. I didn't blame you. I was... Awful. You know, I could have stuck it out. I agree with what she did, but I also understand why she feels like this. <sighs> Thought maybe I'd got you back. My best friend. But all of this. The wedding and the baby. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like I've lost you all over again. Oh. Yeah, like, an engagement's one thing. You could break that off. Marriage? Okay. That's a bigger deal. But again, can be broken off. But a baby? A baby? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, you can't do this. No! You, got, you can't do this. Oh, it sucks. The thing that we wanted this whole time comes now. Why did the lights go off? Friends again? Yeah. Friends. That's weird. Y'all just kissed like that. And then you're gonna say that? I feel like my sentences and my descriptions are all over the place today. But that episode... That was a curveball. <laughs>
Have you seen in the morning? Right under our noses all this time, eh? Who knew? I do not care about the Callum in the movie. But it's bugging me. How do I know him? Want some champagne? It's not champagne, it's Spanish. Whatever it is he's from that I know him in, I feel like he's like a very bad person. I'm loving Oh yeah! Slept with the bride. How do you know all these things? Tilly told me all about it. Oh, did Wait, what? Wait, what? At the kitchen wall. What? Well, yeah, they what didn't happened? need that. I screwed up my friendships. And then Sylvie just came along. Of course, she has absolutely no sense of humor. Just as well, sense of humor oh, is really? overrated. Goofing around all the time. Sylvie in the show is way more likable. But you'll love her. Right? To move on. I've got a tiny advance to write this book. Em? Mm hmm. I have something to tell you, too. Mm. <sighs> so you're pleased? Of course I'm pleased. August the 14th. Yeah, I think that's what they oh. call a shotgun wedding. Why did they change the date? Mm-hmm. Oh. I missed you, Dex. This movie has been a lot faster paced so far than the show, obviously. But I love that they gave moments for that. Wow. Ouchie. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I remember this part. Mm-hmm. It just gets, like, more and more serious. Dex? I think we should go. Absolutely, let's go. Oh. It was more significant of a kiss yeah, in one day. Me. I mean, what? Alright, a little glimpse of the child. They brought a human into this world without Emma. <laughs> what a funny way for me to word that. That was less significant of a kiss. Than the one in the TV show. That one was like a bigger kiss, I guess you could say. Episode 11 out of 14. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Episode 11, 1998, the year of my birth. Uh, the timing of that feels cruel, feels pointed towards me. Don't like that. <laughs> What's this? I know, he makes his own cafe. Didn't you to be on the telly? Back in the mists of time, yeah. Can't be there yet, right? Any coffee? You used to go out with Suki Meadows. I mean, she's everywhere these days, isn't she? Oh. That's a fun full circle moment. Any coffee? I, I got better. No, no thanks. I got better. My only complaint is the music. What's wrong with it? Oh, same four tracks. 6 a.m., 6 p.m. And how are you then, Judy Bloom? And what bollocks is this woman talking? Oh, he's just saying he's loving it. He's particularly enjoying the playlist. <laughs> Can you have your play date later? Well, it's just I need your help. Wow, I'm only like a month old at this point. <laughs> The music editing on this is so cool. Like, it really ties it into the show well. Hello, Jazz. Oh. I'm not ready. I wish you wouldn't call her that. She is Jasmine. She is not Jazz, Jazzy, Jazzmatazz, which is just awful, Dexter. Okay, things have changed here. Fine, I'll completely change the way I talk to my daughter. Good. Oh. Sorry. It's just been an awful day. Oh. The noise and the... Dust! You, you said you wanted to renovate. Is that a helpful comment right now? Okay, they must be living off her parents' money, right? I can't bear the questions. What's he doing? What's the long-term plan? Do you need more money? Okay, yep. Ow. Ooh. I know I keep saying ow. I'm gonna try to stop saying that. It's a bit much for me. I'm just gonna cancel tonight. Uh, don't cancel t I'm a bit old for hen nights. It's rubbish. Jazz here to look after me. We'll be fine, won't we, Jazz? Lynn, Jasmine. You look amazing. 
by the way. Stop it, Dex. Uh, this is not good. <laughs> He's trying. Take the force of the blow. Oh. Sorry, but how in the world did they cast such a cute baby? <laughs> it looks so sweet. Oh. Mm -hmm. Don't hide it. No. Not the whole bottle. Do you remember that mixtape you made for me when I was traveling? Uh, vaguely. Stop. She doesn't have a baby, dude, does she? I'm, I'm at Tilly's, remember? Oh, okay. <laughs> no more babies. I mean, Jazz is a very nice example of one, but no. Jazz! She calls him Jazz, too. Oh, and I need a kebab. Kebab. Oh, can you get one for me, too? <laughs> Call you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Em. Hmm. I feel nothing. Sniff his head. What? No. Sniff his head. I demand it. <laughs> Like the back of a watch strap. <laughs> I don't know what to say to you. This baby's pretty cute too. Oh, that actually worked. I don't know if it's gonna work to put her back to sleep. Maybe it'll work to get her to stop crying. Hello. What's that? Jasmine and I were having a little party. She's still awake? Yeah, she is now. Is Mummy on the phone? Hello, Jasmine. It's Mummy. Hello? <laughs> but you're managing. Of course. You ever doubt me? Ah. That silence was very telling. I'm working on it. The whole husband, father, provider thing. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Are you? Um, okay, well, I love you. You too. I feel like she's cheating on him. I mean, even if she's not. Oh, All okay. She oh, fuck, she. Me? I didn't. Th okay. And you were almost gonna cancel too. For Christ's sake, I've given the guy a job. What else can I do? Or is that not enough? Want me to take you home? You gotta be kidding me. That's terrible! No! Even that subtle moment at the end where the rhythm of the music determined when the end credits started. Just the littlest things with this. I love it. I was gonna say... Oh my god, what was I gonna say? Even if she's not cheating on him, which was immediately proven right on that assumption. Uh, even if she's not cheating on him, there was a lot that was being said in the things that weren't being said. Okay. <laughs> so I'm thinking that the reason I recognized the Callum in the movie version was literally from that movie. Because I was like, oh yeah, whatever he was in, he was a bad guy. And that was kind of the situation I was thinking of. And it must have been that. Isn't it so weird? Like, I remember it, but I don't. I definitely got the vibes from the Callum in the movie. Like, he was more douchey. But the this guy did not come off that way to me in the last episode. Well, I guess he did say something about the girl he was with, but that was like it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Dexter. <laughs> oh. Neither of them have been doing great in their lives, but it's kind of funny because at first, earlier on, Dexter was doing well, or he at least had the facade of doing well, but like career-wise, he was doing well, and Emma was not doing well. And now, 
Emma's doing pretty well, aside from that look at the end. And Dexter's not doing well. So it's like flipped now. He's still like drinking a lot in secret, which isn't good. And that's worrying. And you could probably blame that on the fact that he's not in a good spot right now. But he would be in a better spot if he wasn't doing that. Okay, movie time. How are you getting on? Oh, good, man. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not quite what I was expecting. I don't what do you mean? You're only here to learn the ropes, okay? Callum, I'm, oh. I'm enjoying. And then what? What about uh, Indian food? I, I can give her a curry, can't I? No, 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 Dexter. Sylvia, I'm joking. Oh, I see. I keep missing those, don't I? I'm sorry. It's just that I'm late, and, and I don't even know why She's I'm going. She's being a lot nicer. I'm too old for hen night. Be good. Try not to burn the house down. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> No, it's better the way they did it in the show. This way it's like, wait, she seems happy. Why would she go and cheat on him? A good time. A little bit. I'm sure people would still want to do that. Um, but in the show, it makes more sense. It's like, oh. <laughs> I'm wondering if my brain just clocked out on this whole part while I was watching this movie. Spartacus. Huh? Let's have a Suki. To change the world. Oh, her oh, that's book! That's oh, it's like a middle grade novel? Oh. Emma? It's me. Uh, I'm so sorry, darling. I, I... She's been awake all this time. Yeah, yeah my fault. Uh, no, I should have given her the decaf. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. I made you laugh. Well, I was, I was just checking up on you, and, and well, everything's fine. This is actually. Okay, wait, I kind of like this better. Well, that hurts a lot more, like, seeing her take in what he's saying to her while we're seeing this in the background. Yeah, that hits. Oh my god. It's more shocking when you realize what's going on. The other one, it was like, uh, I think, I think she's very much so not happy. Wouldn't be surprised if she was cheating, and then she was. And it hurts a little more, too, because you don't understand it as much, because she seems happy, so, like, why would she go and cheat? And then you can also see the moments where she's, like, kind of conflicted, which adds layers. I kind of like that more. But I did also like seeing in the TV show the switch of Sylvie from her being pretty likable, aside from a couple weird moments, <laughs> to her then being like mean, I mean, stressed out, you know, not happy and uh, really negative. It, it was just a very interesting juxtaposition that they did in the show, which I guess in the movie was kind of opposite. What do we have next? Episode 12, 1999. You know, let me just look up real quick. Is that how I know that guy? Because that's crazy. My mind works in a very weird way. Callum, Tom Misson, Riot Club, the Riot Club founder. I think I watched that after I watched one day, so it can't be that. Oh, <laughs> what was he in the first episode of that? Okay, I may know him from the very first episode of Secret Diary of a Call Girl. Which is a great show, if you're looking for a recommendation. Now, oh, Billy Piper is the star. I guess it could be that. I'd have to really... Is there a picture? Can I see him in that show? But he was only in one episode of that, and it was the very first episode. So that's pretty unlikely. So I may just really be remembering him from that movie. Crazy. Well. Daniel? Okay, I do remember this, actually. He's got a pretty big storyline in this one episode. I, his voice is pretty distinct. Wow, he plays such a different character in that, too. Okay, not important. What am I... Okay, I gotta watch the next episode now. Anyway. <laughs> episode 12. There's three episodes left. Scared about that. And we are now in 1999. I don't really have much to say about that. It's the year before my 2K. I, I, I don't understand. I thought it was going through. Well, what's left to discuss? What's left to discuss? Food mixer. Why does she want the food mixer? They're getting a divorce. 
So did he find out or are they just getting a divorce because things were going well anyway? I don't have a garden. As she knows, I don't have a garden. <laughs> what? That's her bug! Aww. And he's getting a divorce! <laughs> and it seems like they've been communicating pretty consistently. Oh. Pelly. You'd have come as sophisticated Parisian. I've come as fucked up, suicidal divorcee. Well, at least you're not bitter. Time to get back on the train. <laughs> I mean, he's dressed pretty well right now, so. Oh, I thought we'd uh, go for a walk first, see some sights. Oh, okay. Wait, okay. I mean, he has his bag, but fine. Yeah, I love it here. I can see that. You look beautiful. I mean, we should talk about it. What happened? Oh, oh we can. Just later. <laughs> should we get some wine? Sort of off it. Is this the cafe they went into in, um... Just, you know, trying to avoid it. Nothing okay. good ever came of it, so... Correct. Is this the cafe they went to in Before Sunset? Before Sunset? He looks kind of like it. Mm, no, not really. No? Mm -hmm. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. So you want to sit over there? Yeah, oh, this is perfect. Maybe what I'm saying is, is the world might be evolving the way a person evolves. Please, can you sign this for no, me? No, don't be ridiculous. You've got to, mm -hmm. something, something personal. Do I have a crow in my apartment? It sounded behind me. Divorce goes through in September. Just a month before our anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> We've stopped screaming abuse and throwing things. Now it's just yes, no. That kind of sucks. They've moved in with Callum. Yeah, I know, till he told me. Do you speak to Callum up, sure? The Callum in this show had like a good arc up until then. Like the friendship was important, I thought. I mean, we didn't see him that much, but still. And how's Jazz? Jazz. I think Jazz is better, okay? Even now you can see the fear in her eyes when her mom drives off. Oh, well, that's why you have to see her more. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. I, you know. Stop. <laughs> if we're not opening presents, and she just, she just starts crying and asking for mummy. It hurts more because you can see he really cares, and he doesn't want this to happen. She started walking. God's sake, she started walking and I missed it. This man gets me so good. You don't need a plan. Well, it's only me. <laughs> I'm really holding him back right now. Here we go. Chez moi. Ah. How long has she been there? Under a year. Oh wow, is that? Book two? Yeah, but don't read it, it's a work in progress. She can also draw too, which is cool. Yes. Mm. Oh! oh! Mm. Dex, 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 Dex. No, why, what, stop. <laughs> Self-conscious. The thing is, Dex, I've Aww. met someone. <laughs> okay, what, who? His name is Jean-Pierre, Jean-Pierre de Solier. Come on! Yeah, that's uh, uh, good for you, Em. The timing, they just can't get it right. I just wish you told me. You just got here. Yeah, I mean, before, before, before he I came. came. Well, we <laughs> haven't spoken much. I came to talk about what happened. What's to say? I mean, we slept together once. Three times? I don't mean how many acts of intercourse. What are you talking about? 
we spent one night together, a single night. Yeah, and the next when? thing I know, you've run off to Paris and... Are you kidding me? We didn't get to see their first time together? I thought they were talking about the night they kissed the wedding. You're annoyed because you think I should have waited for you. No, not waited. But wanted... to pursue. You do realise there's a certain amount of irony in this? Yes, I do. Look, if you want to talk about that night, let's talk about it. <sighs> that shelf is colour-coded. We were both quite drunk. It wasn't that bad, was, was it? <laughs> I'm, I'm mad right now. But it's messy, it's life, I like it. I was a shoulder to cry on. Not to sleep with. Why'd you do it? So you only slept with me to make me feel better. Did you feel better? <laughs> yes, much better. <laughs> okay, well, so did I. I haven't stopped thinking about it ever since it happened. Well, you should have brought it up to her before now. It was just sex, Dexter. With respect, um, that's bollocks. You can't just rock up here when you're on your uppers and think, good old Emma, I am not the consolation prize, okay? I do not think that. It's the opposite. It, it, it's... He was scared to get with you for so long because you mean the most to him. But he's not expressing that. <laughs> All right, Salut. who is this? <laughs> uh, super, mont, tout de suite. I don't need to insult this man, okay? J'adore tes chefs, c'est trop cool. Oh, merci. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, Dexter, Jean-Pierre, Jean-Pierre Dexter. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, he's got a nice accent. Yeah, so, so tell me everything about Emma. Everything. <laughs> Let's begin. This is just reminding me of something. It's reminding me of past lives. When all three of them get together. She's a, a real nerd, you know? <laughs> a pretentious nerd. You already know that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A table for seven. Uh, the green. Cool. Cool, cool. I'm sorry. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I think I've... Uh, I think I've picked something up. On the, uh, on the train. Oh, okay, you sure? I, well, I can stay? No, oh, definitely not, just go, go. Come on, Em, you know he's lying. You're not acting like you know, though. I'm gonna stay at Jean-Pierre's tonight, so... You can have the bed. Mm. <laughs> feel better. She's acting kind of confused. I don't feel like that was the correct reaction for that actress to have. I don't know if I can watch any more of this. <laughs> to my best friend, welcome to Paris. Okay. Why would you write that message in a book? Like he's not, he didn't move to Paris and the book isn't about Paris. It just, it won't be relevant for very long. I guess to remember that moment, but I don't know. That shelf is color coded. It's killing me. Stop. She just stood silently there that whole time. He was in the shower and then he got out of the shower and got fully dressed and she was just standing there. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? Let me tell you. Huh? What? Your pretend once so loud as I told Jumpy I was coming down with it too. Say it's tonsillitis, I'd say it's a cold. <laughs> okay, but maybe break up with the dude you're seeing right now first. I feel like they could have done something a little more interesting with the camera work. It's literally like kind of two angles, maybe three. Whereas normally when you get scenes like this, when they're kind of supposed to be like, relishing each other's bodies and they're finally together and blah 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 like you get a lot of shots a lot of close-ups of like different body parts and i don't know things like moving together not just like here up kind of sucked 
If you lead me on, or let me down, or go behind my back, I swear to God I will eat your heart. I swear. Oh. <laughs> I just thought I finally got rid of you. I don't think you can. I was so pissed about that sex scene. That was so boring. I don't know exactly how to express like what I was looking for, but I can include an example. <laughs> Cause I'm not trying to say I was hoping for like, <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna show an example. <laughs> It just seemed, I mean, the music was great. And if they had added the shots that I'm talking about in with the shots that they included, I think it would have been fine. Like there was nothing particularly wrong with the shots. It was just the fact that it was only that angle. And then they just kept going back and forth. There was no like sensuality to it really. Damn, that sucks. Oh, I'm pissed about that. I liked the thing with the glass wall. Like that was an interesting shot. But even then they didn't really intercut it with anything. Sometimes the directing is just a total misfire on these. Kind of sucks. Damn, that really took me out of it. Uh, they're together now though, which I'm happy about. All right, I'm gonna watch the movie version. I don't seem to remember, like when I remember them reconnecting in the movie, I remember them like coming together on a street somewhere. But maybe I'm not remembering that right. I didn't even remember she had a boyfriend in Paris. 2003, and we were just in 1999. What sense does that make? Oh, and I remember she cut her hair. Mm. What do you look like? Me? Screwed up to see. Mm. It actually does uh, look kind of rough there. But his hairs looked rough for uh, the last couple of years. For a while, actually, I haven't been Before you say anything else, I have to say... Uh, You've met someone! Is that really so hard to believe? Wow, I'll she told him right off the bat here. here. We just slept together. And they're just straight up... They're just straight up arguing. You took your trousers off over your shoes. No, I didn't. Did I? I think that you... I like this apartment better. If you must know, it was one of the better nights of my life. <laughs> well, it's going to be lots of fun and in no way awkward. Hmm, I like that moment. Yeah, I remember this dress. I'm sure he's a fine jazz pianist. Wait, they don't even interact. I'm sorry, Jax. Hey, don't be. Mmm. No, that's for sure what we were missing from the show. Seeing her think about it. Okay, so they do meet on the street. I thought I got rid of you. Mm. If you mug me about Dexter. I swear, I swear. I will. Lead me on or let me down or go behind my back. I will murder you. <laughs> Okay, 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 I gotta stop now. That did get me back into it a little though. <laughs> stop, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm already crying, I haven't even started the episode yet. Okay. I'm assuming it's gonna happen in this episode. Oh wait, no, there's two more episodes left. Oh, I think there's time after. Okay. <sighs> okay. 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Episode 13, 2000, 2001, 2002. Now, I don't know. I don't know which year it's going to happen in. But I have a feeling it's going to happen in this episode. Okay. Bell size park, never heard of him. Hey, Em. Um. <laughs> oh my god, turn off. Turn <laughs> off. Move in. Dex, are you asking me to be your flatmate? Emma, will you be my flatmate? <laughs> okay, I'll think about it. No. 
living together. We said we weren't going to do that. Well, we lived together in Paris. Yeah, but that oh. was last century. And Paris. Last you century. don't like the flat? This is his place? You do know it'll be harder to have affairs, don't you? Oh, come on. That's why I tell the <laughs> We really need to leave. Mm, you can wait ten minutes. Oh, ten minutes? <laughs> I love them together. <laughs> Where are they going? Sorry, Dad. It was my fault. <laughs> I refuse to believe that. Well, it's both of us, really. No. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> yeah. What are you planning? What are you planning? He doesn't even know. Uh, and deli. And cafe. Boulangerie, formangerie, all, all artisan. It's all here, the businessman. Good. It's all laid out for the next two years. Wow, he really put work into it. Emma, be honest with me. Yeah, I think it's a very good idea. But it's not your idea. It doesn't have to be. Just rather no more blind alleys. Cafe Paris. Boulangerie de Paris. Le Petit Boulangerie Parisian. But how will people know it's French? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bad idea? Mm. No, it's not. It's the opposite. I mean, it's a nice idea, but you're not Parisian. <laughs> Which I feel like most people would expect. Want to stop paying rent? Hurrah. <laughs> Do you think we're rushing into this? <laughs> <laughs> It's the 15th of July. This <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my god! Okay. Have they opened yet? Don't worry, the wedding's too big. There's 50 guests. It's very small. They're getting married? Right, better go open up. Yeah. You know, I've forgotten about the horses. Now I want horses! That's his speech. <laughs> The picture's framed. You could all go out and get a pizza or a movie. <laughs> Did you read this? No. We grew up together. I liked that. No. Oh, his little smile like that. Ah! What's it called? What's it called? Wait, some Bella V. Bella V. Just open, what's going on? Look far! No. <laughs> no. Sorry, I'm so sorry, Sylvie. Hi, Jasmine. Callum wants to go scuba diving. It's amazing. Have you been? I've been snorkeling. Well, we're going scuba diving. Okay. Look, I, I, I just wanted to say that um, the, the wedding, I'm, I'm gonna sit that one out. That's probably for the best. No, I understand, I'll, I'll, I'll tell Dex. I, I really am so happy for both of you. You should be. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess it's like gonna happen this year, it's gonna happen next year. No, I feel like it's gonna happen before they get married. Yay! No, I, I don't know. Maybe it happens at the end of the episode. Try to play it again. No, let's wait <laughs> for the to get home. That was great. I mean, first 10 mm -hmm. minutes, I'm this model stepmom. Then I'm just shattered. Is that Tilly on the phone? Oh, fuck's sake. No, a living thing kicking me from the inside of my body. That's what they're like. That's why I couldn't do it. Now she's gonna start thinking about having a baby. Okay. Mm. Oh, so great. tasty. Be a whip. I love that we're seeing so much of this. She's completely out. Mm, I should hope so. After all that chin. <laughs> They're so great together. I think I'd like a baby now. Okay. Let's do that. And what about you? I was just waiting for you. Okay, My stomach is going crazy right now. Sorry if you can hear that. So are they married now? I'm getting fat. No, you're not. Yeah, look. Well, stop eating so much cheese then. Well, I thought you said I wasn't getting fat. Well, if you feel you are, then you are. You've got beautiful breasts. <laughs> <laughs> We've sold this place now. 
So we really need to find somewhere. Yeah, fine. I'm not pregnant. It's still early days. Yes? We'll try again. Afghanistan's a mess. Well, I don't know enough about it. Well, you could. I'm sure I could. Perhaps I'm too stupid. Where did that come from? I like that we're seeing this, because it's realistic. And then we move on to fucking house prices. You talk about house prices too. Oh, I know I do, and I bore myself. Do I bore you? Of course not. It's different for you. Why? You know why. Well, we've been trying for a year. Wow. A year's not long. <laughs> a year is long. Yeah. <laughs> well, what if I told you that this place we're going to see has a breakfast bar? <laughs> a breakfast bar? Mm-hmm. I love you. We'll try again. He's very emotionally supportive in his relationships. I love it. Oh, they have such a good life right now, too. He owns a cafe. She's a writer. And they both have their little routines. Oh. Oh, my memory card is out. One minute. And his cafe's busy? Hell yeah. God, I love it when you guys fight. <laughs> Fucking yes. <laughs> Do they? It just means you have a normal, ordinary relationship, you know? Uh, just to say, I'll text you the address. Also, it's St. Swithin's Day. I'll make dinner. We'll watch a film. Something with subtitles so you can read at the same time. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm gonna see you in a minute. I just love you, that's all. Mm. See you soon. Uh, I just wanted to say, I keep thinking about what you said this morning about the breakfast bar. God, I hope it's not graphic. The main thing is I love you too. Very much. No, 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 no. So, there you go. Lucky you. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye, my love. It's a show. Stop, I don't... I'm just thinking about the fact that he's just waiting for her. <sighs> now what? <laughs> she's like, after all that time, when they're all together, for three years with like certain things like them trying to have a baby for a year like yeah that probably felt long to them but in the grand scheme of things you know like once it ended three years was nothing i don't think i can watch the movie version right now i don't think i can i don't think i can see that again pause for laughter <laughs> blah, 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 blah. You're not going to say blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, oh are you? you are not supposed to be here. Oh. What, five notes? Come on, let me see. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like his hair longer. Okay. <sighs> 2005? Mm. I can definitely. Mm. What's the point? Oh, I'm really pleased for you. Look, I, I'd invite you in, it's just... No, it's fine. We've got to go and see my family. Mm, we should have fun. Thanks. I don't know this. I've got a child with a man I love. And if he won't do it, then I want one with you. <laughs> wow, this is like the steamiest this movie has been. Take some exercise. Come swim with me later. In case you're interested, I'm not pregnant. We can go and have some dinner. 
just you and me, and we can work this out. All right? What is that light? No, no, no. Oh, that was so much worse. <laughs> oh, and then they show it. I mean, I don't... I don't like the fact that they showed it in the movie or the TV show. It's just so graphic. Yeah, I don't like that. I thought he like came running after her for some reason. I guess not. I think the shock factor of it hurt more when I was watching the movie, but the way they set it up in the TV show made it hurt more in general because it was more meaningful and it just, it hurt more. Whereas like when I watched the movie version of it just now, it didn't hurt as much. Couldn't tell you exactly why, but that's how I felt. All right, my stomach, could you stop? Last episode, I'm not okay, but I'm just gonna jump right into it. <laughs> episode 14, 2003, 2004, 2007. Maybe that's why they skipped like that in the movie because then the last year they show is just all 2007. I just don't think they needed to do that. Like this way, I think it's gonna hurt more seeing A, multiple years go by without her and B, it's 2002 to 2007, a five year jump where we'll see where he is five years without her. Okay. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Yay. She philosophically noted dates as they came past in the revolution of the year. She suddenly thought one afternoon that there was yet another date of greater importance, her own death. So we have a birthday. And a death day. A day sly and unseen. What's going on? Merry Christmas. You will never ever read this. Happy Christmas anyway. Love. I suppose, um... Hello, you two. What is this? What are we seeing? Thank you. Well, I just fixed my fucking makeup. <laughs> Can we not? <laughs> What? Oh no, wait, is this after? I'm so confused with the dates right now. No. Dude. Do oh, I remember this song? This is not, no. You've been drinking. No. Come to think of it, there was a bit of nonsense after the jelly. Dexter, I can smell it. Vodka doesn't smell. Today was not the day. It's just a day. Really, dude? Really? I thought we I thought we moved past this. Like I know this is probably the hardest thing he's ever been through in his life. Okay. But I thought that the whole point of <laughs> seeing him grow like this would mean that he would handle it differently. Dude, uh, it was like a shot of beer too, like Also, he doesn't look that old. I want to talk to you all night. Do you like me? The year ago today, Emma died. I was killed, I should say. Sorry, Barbara. Dexy Downer. What the fuck are you doing? Yes, I was talking to you. Wait, 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 no, no, wait. Where is my really does not make sense to me. I mean, in real life, maybe, but like for this particular TV show and storyline, it doesn't make sense. Wow. Again, the editing. Don't cry. Don't cry. We just need to get you cleaned up. 
I don't and the fact that they're fighting too, like I just didn't think we would end here, you know? We got his house. Where did I say his house? I meant his dad's house. Yeah, that's his dad. And that's probably where he should have ended it. <sighs> this is the same day. What time is it? <laughs> Stop. That's where that happened. Her own death. A day which lay sly and unseen among all other days of the year. What book is that? She was a bit tipsy, I think, wasn't she? Only a little. <laughs> she called me a bourgeois fascist. <laughs> I love that they're doing this. Dexter. I've got a nice up bottles that you could take up. This is fine. So is this to become an uh, annual festival, do you think? <laughs> I really don't want to have a heart to heart. Do you? Do you think you should suck it up, sir? Just fucking do it? The best thing you could do is to try and live your life as if she was still here. What do you think I've been doing for the last ten years? In ten years. <laughs> I just don't think I have any more tears left to give, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Just know that that hurt. Very much so, yes. Where is this? Shit! Sorry! I didn't want to be late. Jesus. Surprise! Surprise! Surprise. <laughs> this is good, this is good. Okay, we better do more tears. Great flat. Couldn't be any closer to the heath. Yeah, I'm further from a tube station. Yeah, I haven't done anything to it yet. Why is he living there? Baby, okay. <sighs> to you, Dax. And to Emma. To Emma. To Emma. I'm just gonna keep hugging you. Were your children breastfed, Stephen? <laughs> what? No, we people didn't. Your children isn't Dexter an only child? And no, they didn't breastfeed back then. What are you doing, <laughs> Surveyor? Oh. It's nice of you all to be here. Yeah, last year, I went back to old flat in Clapton and just stood outside and felt nothing. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> uh, no, can I, can I stop please? <laughs> Who's gonna come talk to me? Hello. Um, yeah. I was trying to remember his name and I could just think Tom Holland. It must be an extremely difficult day for you. It's just a day. What he said last year. Ian? Ethan? What the fuck is his name? Doesn't matter. I always thought you were a bit of a twat. It really <laughs> just overrated. 
you made her so happy. Which was annoying. I've got a wife and three kids now. Wow, I do. It, it just didn't feel like any of that was on the cards for me. So I just wanted to urge you not to give up. What's in Taunton? It's where we live. Isn't that three hours away? I'll give or take. Look after yourself, Dexter. Goodbye, ugly. Oh, we love you. I'm kind of surprised the parents weren't, like, her parents weren't invited. But I get it, because we never saw them, but still. I'm oh, sorry to hear about you and Callum. Mm. That's fine. A bad call on my part. Now we're both alone, maybe we should get back together. Uh, well, I, I, I don't, I don't, well, Dexter, I don't, I don't know. I'm joking. <laughs> that, that was funny. Well, I'm working on it. Hi, Dad. Love you a tiny bit. I love you a speck. A dot. <laughs> Molecule. His last fight was so much nicer, I'm kind of confused. Does he still have the cafe? Find whatever alcohol you're looking for and throw it away. No, he's gonna down it. Yeah. <sighs> he's probably still got all her stuff, huh? I don't mind, you know. If you just got rid of it all. I'll never do that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to make that noise. Keep the photos up. It won't always be like this. Change it. Time. I can really feel the clouds parting him. <laughs> Stop doing that. Is this year you can pass out on your own carpet? <laughs> and you'll go to the office and you'll buy a couple more bottles. And you'll feel guilty and over and just shit. I have the same tear, bro. Yup. <laughs> then it'll go on like that until it doesn't. Because one day, it won't. One day. One day. Where did that tear even come from? <laughs> How did it get on my nose? Stop. Uh... When was this? Okay, now he looks older. There we go. Oh, is this university? They did a good job making him look older. Excuse me, could you keep off the grass, please? Fuck you! Oh. <laughs> you should have said hello when you saw me around. Daddy, what did you do when you lived here? Not a great deal, as I recall. I did. <laughs> it's Arthur's seat. Can we climb it? Uh, I'll see you back at the hotel. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> it's quite steep, Jazzy. Are you, are you sure? Sure. Okay. You got three hours? <laughs> I don't know how long it takes. Dad, you're so slow. You all right back there? Right, you gotta stop. <laughs> you know, it's St. Swithin's Day. What's that? 15th of July. Can I just say something to put your mind at rest? I don't want you to think I'm bothered or anything. I mean, we didn't see what happened last night, you know, it's only because you were drunk. Oh, Emma. We don't want weekly postcards. I don't want to get married to have your babies either, and I don't want to have another thing. Just... Me and you will just be friends. Agreed? Agreed? <laughs> I'm not being a footnote. A footnote? In the story of your life. 
oh, you're right about that. I also didn't catch on the first watch that he called her Emily because his mom mistakenly called her Emily. Um. This is what he wish he would have done. Oh god. This didn't happen, did it? I think the idea is that that would have changed things a lot. The three suggestions for this are Bridgerton, Sex in the City, and Anyone But You. I just don't think those those hit like this one would. This one's a little more tragic than those are, okay? I feel uh, broken inside. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do now? What do you want me to say now? That's how that ended. Which like I knew, I knew that was happening. I kind of forgot there was time after, but then once they went up on Arthur's seat, I kind of remember that happening. I don't even want to watch the movie version right now because I don't think it's going to hit like that did. Let me just see. I don't watch it. <laughs> like I don't care to compare right now, but honestly I don't remember him like Oh, going back to partying, I was gonna say, but it looks like he did. Oh, see, that's 2007. Why did they change the years? Oh, wow, I remember. Okay. Yikes. Are you alright? No, 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 a neon sign in the background. <laughs> oh shit. That tiny little moment was strong. They didn't show anything like that in the show with like the daughter's reaction and the daughter dealing with this. <laughs> I don't want a heart to heart. Do you? Try to live your life as if Emma was still here. Yeah, we never saw his cafe again in the TV show. Yeah. God. Thanks, though. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Hello, mate. Well, you got yeah. his hair. Look at this. <laughs> his hair. <laughs> I hate today. 15th of July. I never noticed it before, but it was always there, just waiting, <laughs> lurking. I used to hate you too. You made us so happy. And on that bombshell. <laughs> so listen, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll stay in touch. I'll give you a call. No, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> I think we're done here. <laughs> Good luck, mate. All right? You too. Thank you. I think I like that better. The other one was fine, but this one was really good. Just the writing of it. But I love the idea that he, Ginger Tom Holland, Drove three hours Emma. just for them. Emma Morley. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Well, I'm meeting my parents and then I'm gonna get back. Oh and yeah, back. yeah. I'm you all these things there. before I head back. Look, that, that's not until later. So if you wanted to, you could go for a walk or something. They didn't. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's so interesting. They didn't show this at all at the beginning of the movie. I think this works too. I don't really think you can bother or anything. Night. Uh, huh? I don't want your phone number, or letters, or postcards. Or yeah, if you wanted to finish what we started. Race you. <laughs> no way they show the part where the parents pull up. That'd be like too much to show. That was an 11. For some reason. <laughs> she was my best friend. Who's your best friend now then? You. Oh, well, you are, of course. Come here. Oh, okay. What do they do? Oh, Dexter! 
Really? Really? Oh, this is crazy. Oh. And then we get to see the mom again here. Have a nice life. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, because, like, this is the end of this movie, but I'm accessing memories from the beginning of the show. And it feels like I'm starting over again. I'm sorry about all of that. I've gotten a little help. <laughs> So maybe it did happen again, actually. How did that not, like, fully change things, though? But we will see each other again. I know we will. Goodbye, Dex. Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> Dude! <laughs> I would say I think I gotta read the book now, because I'm sure I love it, but... I don't think I could put myself through this again. <sighs> I can't believe I just did that to myself. <laughs> that was one day. <laughs> I, I was not trying to tell you the name of the TV show again. I was trying to tell you I just did that to myself in one day. <laughs> but I accidentally was punny. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not okay. <laughs> um, that broke me. That broke me good. So I, why did... Why did he do that to us? I'm pretty sure a man wrote it. Why did he do that to us? <laughs> oh, such a good, such a good story. But that, it's just cruel. It's cruel how good it is. <sighs> um... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, dude. What do you want from me? What do you want me to say? But this has been really fun. <laughs> I know I may not look like it now, but I do genuinely think that. Um, I really enjoyed editing these videos. I really liked dissecting this TV show. And also comparing it to the movie was super interesting to me. I don't know if everyone liked it, but I don't care also. And it was good. As much as I might have nitpicked at it, nothing's perfect, okay? I can't wait to see what these two actors do next. And some of the side characters, too. Like, give me whoever the actress is that plays Tilly. Give me more of her. Okay, give me more of her right now. Ginger Tom Holland? Sure. Why not? Also, Sylvie, I realized I know from that movie with Sam Claflin, Love Wedding Repeat. That's a great movie. If, if you need something uplifting to watch after watching this, you watch that one. It's fun. It's funny. Sam Claflin, love you, dude. <laughs> Speaking of movies, um, the ending of this one, like how he has a kid with a different person than like the main love interest. I don't know why, but specific scenes of that were reminding me a lot of Love, Rosie, which if you haven't, oh my God, Sam Claflin again. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Um, which if you, if you also want something, it's similar to this one, but spoiler alert, it's not a tragedy. It doesn't end tragically. It's like kind of a romantic comedy a little bit, but it's got dramatic parts like this one in it that I think are so good. And it's kind of another will they, won't they friend situation. I did not mean to recommend another Sam Claflin movie. That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> my bad. Um, another movie that's kind of like this in terms of tone and emotions that's also really good is About Time. So if you haven't seen any of those and you want some recommendations for similar things to this or things to watch after this to get yourself out of this nonsense, those are the three I would recommend. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie version of this, I mean, the first half of it's fun. If you're willing to do that to yourself again, maybe watch the whole thing, but maybe just watch the first half. <laughs> that hurt. That was like multiple hours of me hurting myself. Whereas like the movie's two hours long maybe, but it's, I don't even know what time it is. 8.30 and I believe I started at about three or four. Multiple hours, yeah. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> that one got me so much better than the movie, gotta say, gotta say. But there were elements of the movie that I did 
honestly like a little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay. I've composed myself a little bit. <laughs> genuinely, genuinely loved this show. Loved all the actors. Cinematography, the music, the writing. I've already talked about this, but my gosh, I could gush about this for more than one day. I, okay. It's not as funny when I'm being intentionally punny. Anyway, again, if you wanna see extended versions of these reactions, be sure to check out my Patreon, or if you just feel like supporting my channel, it would mean a lot. Outer Banks season four should be coming later this year, so I'll also be reacting to that, obviously. And then I also have The Summer I Turned Pretty, which I will be reacting from the very beginning of. And let me know if there's anything else that you think I should react to, movie or TV show. Let me know down below what your favorite episode of this season was. Oh, I don't even know. I would say The Grease Trip, but I liked that better in the movie. What's my favorite episode? Let me look real quick. Hold on. On it, okay. Aside from the death at the end of the episode, them being together was so satisfying. And episode seven, the episode where they go to dinner and fight, that was great. But yeah, I think it's gotta go to episode 13 for me. We're there together. Cause they were really great together. <coughs> Made me believe in love. And then, and then they went and did that. They went and wrote that, mm-hmm. But otherwise, that is gonna be it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I think I'm just gonna go curl in a ball and I, I don't think I'm gonna cry. I don't think I have any more crying left in me, but maybe I'll like eat some ice cream or something or just stare into the void. We'll find out. We'll see. Oh, now I have to edit this. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think the crying's done. <laughs>